Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, SNES, Pretendo, and more. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline, and the free mainline version of Skyline just got a brand new update. Version 1826 just released. Someone's got Sword Art Online Hollow Realization up and running between 20 to 30 frames per second and looking pretty darn good. Darksiders is up and running and in game. And this person's got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon up and running at around 22 frames per second. And the graphics look a little bit creepy. Unfortunately, they're not very helpful in terms of what version of Skyline this is. Now, version 1826 does add some performance improvements and bug fixes. For example, it's also got the Hades update. If you wanted to check this one out, it's free, it's open source, and it's available at skyline emu.one All you have to do is click on the download button. Next up, this is a quick one, and we're talking about SNES emulation with BSNES+. Plus. For those who may be unaware, BSNES+, Plus is really targeted at debugging, and it just got a brand new update. Now, BSNES+, Plus is free, it's open source, and if you wanted to check it out, I'll drop a link to this page in the description below, so feel free to check it out. The latest version here fixed some D-pad input mapping for Mac OS and also fixes some memory leaks. But moving on, and we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation again, this time on PC with Yuzu, and Yuzu just got another brand new update. So version 1330 has just dropped, and it's got a pretty big fix here. It fixes when motion and rumble would disconnect after a few minutes and never recover. And if you do use Discord, Discord status will now show game's thumbnail when the image is available from the Yuzu wiki, which is pretty neat. Yuzu has been on fire for updates lately. It's free, it's open source, and you can pick it up at yuzu-emu.org. Next up, we're talking about Pretendo, the free and open source replacement for 3DS and Wii U servers, and Pretendo has a brand new feature. At this point in time, the new feature is highly experimental and in very early stages of development. However, the new feature is called medals. Medals are PlayStation Network Xbox Live style trophies and achievements built for the Wii U. The rollout of these medals will take some time to hit every single game. If they hit every single game, no Wii U games natively support medals and all of these are being created manually, so be patient here while things roll out. On top of that, medals are not supported on 3DS and currently not supported in CMU. They want to make this compatible with CMU, but it might take some time and they do have some things to figure out. Moving Moving on, and this is a quick one, if you're into reading, there's a couple of very interesting articles on Shonumi's website. One is The Edge of Emulation, Game Boy Advance Jukebox, and the second one answers a question on how many Game Boy Color games supported infrared. These articles are very interesting, they're well written, and they're great for learning a thing or two, or a whole bunch. If you wanted to check them out, I'll drop a link in the description below. I highly recommend it. Next up, I've got another quick one for you. If you know me, you'll know I'm a massive fan of fighting games. It's basically the genre I play most on almost every single console I own. Anyways, here Tekken 8, a game I'm extremely excited about, has just showcased a whole bunch of gameplay mechanics on their YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below in the event that you wanted to learn more about it. This video is very exciting. And on top of that, there's also a Nina reveal and gameplay trailer, which you should also check out, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. Now, instead of games that are upcoming, how about games that are shutting down? And we've talked about some of these in previous videos, specifically Apex Legends Mobile and also Rumbleverse. Well, here's a list of live service games that are canned in the past week-ish. I'll drop a link to this tweet in the description below, but if we take a look here. Apex Legends Mobile, Battlefield Mobile, Crime Sight, Crossfire X, Dragon Quest, Echo VR, Knockout City, Love Live and School Idol Festival, and Rumbleverse. This is a ton of games and it's very disappointing to see. And speaking about live service games, next up we're talking about something that I don't know if it's live service, but it is coming to mobile. Android and iOS is about to get a brand new game from Sega. It's being designed by the Near series creator and 
It is called 404 Error Reset. To be honest with you, I could be wrong about that game title, but apparently it's going to be an RPG, and we might know more in just about five days' time, February 10th, 2023. Next up, we're talking about PlayStation 4 emulation with FPPS4, and FPPS4 is now compatible with 81 different games. If you wanted to see exactly what games are compatible with FPPS4, I'll drop a link to the compatibility list in the description below, and feel free to check it out. There's a whole bunch of homebrews here, and some games do require hacks, but fortunately if you click on the game it'll let you know what hacks it needs in order to run. FPPS4 is still in its infancy, but it's showing a ton of promise and I can't wait to see what's next. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a ton today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.